Steph, how tough was it tonight to see in a game like, you know, you guys um, had a lead on the Pacers for a while, but then they came in and had that strong 10-0 run in the fourth quarter? It was a tough one to lose the way we did, obviously, playing pretty solid basketball in the first half, having a seven-point lead. And, um, you know, it seemed like Indiana, they're, they're tough, they're scrappy. Even coming off a of back-to-back, they uh, we gave them, you know, an opportunity to have life because uh, I think we were playing really, really well for 36 minutes. And uh, it seemed like that. All I need is a, a little, a little hope and uh, a little chance to kind of switch the momentum. And, and they took advantage of it. And uh, it's a tough way to lose, but gotta keep our morale up going on these, you know, this three-game road trip. Uh, it's be a solid home stand, but uh, you know, we gotta back it up. What do you think you guys need to do better to kind of solve the uh, boxing one? I don't know. I mean, it's uh, we call it the janky defense, and you know, eventually you feel like you'll be able to kind of pick pick it apart, whether it's me getting shots or somebody, you know, somebody else on the weak side. But um, I think we just need to take you know a little bit of time to kind of understand that's probably going to happen more than in years past, and find some key sets and looks to. You know, create shots. I think I obviously have to solve that puzzle um, so that I stay aggressive and don't, you know, kind of fall into what it's supposed to do and kind of take me out of the game. Um, and and that'll be obviously a work in progress because you know, from night to night, who knows how much you'll see it, but it's a likelihood you'll see it. Jeff, how many times over the years, dating back to high school? through Davidson to now, do you feel like you've seen it? I have no idea. Um, high school and college saw it a good amount. And then obviously in the finals of 2019 was kind of where it was on a big stage. But again, it's it's one of those kind of situations where um, if you're the opposing team and you trying to play numbers, you um, – can throw it at us and see how we respond. Obviously, tonight it was pretty much the whole game, which is which was new. But um, we, again, we have to find ways to just kind of pick it apart. I got to find ways to be aggressive and uh, kind of make them pay for for playing janky defenses. That I don't know how much they work on it. How tough is it not to get frustrated by it, given that teams have had some success uh, with it now a little bit. It's part of the challenge of being in this position. And, um, you know, it is something where, you know, mentally and physically, you got to be ready for that challenge for all of that, all the minutes that you're out there and that you see it and not let it, again, uh, keep you on your heels or lose your aggressiveness. And I, I've been saying it most of the year, kind of make sure I can see the pictures right and make the right plays, but still, again, find my shots and find my rhythm to start the games early and, and continue that throughout the game. So um, it's a challenge, and I'm ready, you know, to, to figure it out. Steph, obviously, uh, Steph. This, uh, that three-minute stretch in the fourth quarter is going to overshadow uh, what was a pretty solid defensive effort from you guys. What did you like from that uh, side of the ball tonight? It was uh, – it gave us a chance to, you know, build momentum. And a team like Indiana, they never beat themselves. Um, you know, they they play solid fundamental basketball. They find ways to uh, work off each other, and, and, and everybody's a threat out there. So over the course of the game, defensively, we – we did a lot of good things, and to your point, it was it was it's the NBA, and and you know it's a game of runs, and it was an untimely one for for us, you know, in that fourth quarter. Uh, you know, the way they made some some big shots, we missed a couple, and the whole momentum kind of just swung in, in the blink of an eye. So, uh, you know, we gotta be better. Uh, how does tonight's game, Steph? prepare you for, I mean, facing Sabonis and Brogdon, prep you for Jokic and Murray for the next game? 
We saw him in preseason, but we know what, what it is. What it is. Their two man game is amazing. Jokic is solid at uh, being a playmaker, and you know, always uh, kind of pr forcing the issue, making defenses react. Um, and he never seems like he's in a rush. But we got to have five five guys on a string and be physical. It will be smart. Send bodies. I think we have to do a better job of you know not fouling. Um, and that's been a theme of ours for a while, but. Uh, you know, it's it's going to require all five guys. It's not just going to be on James or whoever or me who's guarding, you know, Jamal or whoever it is. Um, you know, we, we've we we've taken strides in the right direction defensively and everybody's uh, stepping up. Hey, what did you think of the – Kelly what did you find his way offensively tonight? What did you say? How nice was it to see Kelly kind of find his way offensively, particularly in the first half tonight? I mean, eventually that that narrative will will turn on its head. It's it's not a surprise when he makes shots, knowing that you know he's 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 more than capable, um, and he'll put some you know a string of games together where um, you know it'll turn in the right direction. So it, it, tonight was uh, was solid the way he started the game with confidence, and and obviously he relies on that defensive intensity and pressure to you know, assert his will in the game and then offensively, you know, good things can happen. So um, we all, we've all been telling him to stick with it and knowing that it's going to turn around. Steph, can you talk about the defense that Edmund Sumner played on you tonight? Uh, he played defense. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, they all were aggressive. They had a scheme that they all came in, you know, wasn't just him, it was everybody uh, to try to slow us down and, and give us different looks. But, um, yeah. Stefan, is there a fine line between being a, a, a decoy, so, so to speak, and a live threat for you? I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, there's times when you got your teammates out and you kind of get the ball to them, but you also got to be a shooting threat. Yeah, and that's something that that I mean the way that they defended us today. That's um, that's the work in progress that we'll figure out in terms of um, getting a, a certain number of sets that can attack a box and one or uh, those gimmick kind of defenses where you know to your point I can be able to space the floor, bring a couple of guys with me, and create open shots for other people, but also. Uh, not just float around um, on that half of the court, you know, possession after possession. I have to, I do have to find that balance. I don't know what the right answer is, but I do have to stay aggressive to keep them honest and know that they can't take me out of the game, but also not uh, just jack up, you know, what I would consider in that, in that situation, just terrible shots if, you know, you have two or three guys on you.